What is up guys, Joe here, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 2 of the Tour de France playthrough here on PCM and today we have the Mur de Bretagne twice as well. Really difficult final hill. I know Dan Martin won here in 2018 but today we're going to do our best with Bora. Away we go then and you can see Peter Sagan in the yellow jersey. Things you absolutely love to see right here. After winning stage one here in this playthrough I can see Casper Pedersen the KOM polka dot jersey holder has attacks up the road. I want to get up the road with Edith Schelling, but he is right at the back of the group. And by the way, I have added the Alperson Phoenix one-off jersey they won throughout stage one. Let me know, guys, if you want to see this jersey throughout the rest of the playthrough. I am a big fan of it, personally. I also added the new Quebecer jersey as well. You can see that on Nick Delamini right there, as we still have Casper Pedersen dangling off the front. So finally, I have got to the front of proceedings with Edith Schelling, but we do have a pretty big breakaway. I mean, a couple riders up the road already, and I'm not sure if they're gonna let Ida go here. I don't believe it. When I attack, Matthew Vanderpool tries to follow me into the breakaway. This is why we're not allowed up the road here. Oh my word. I try again. He tries to follow. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Matthew Vanderpool is marking out Ida Schelling. He knows who to look out for at this year's Tour de France. But surely Vanderpool knows he's not going to be allowed into today's breakaway. I mean, look at the finish. It suits him really nicely. Anyway, Schelling is now suffering after a really tough start to the stage. I don't believe it. I've tried again and Matthew Vanderpool literally is following me into the breakaway with Ida Schelling. I will pull in this group. He's not even relaying here. What is going on with Matthew Vanderpool at this Tour de France in this stage? I have no idea. So again, we are caught and now Ida Schelling is pretty cooked. Ugh, can't believe how this stage has started. Matthew, 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 you're not going to be allowed into the breakaway here. What is going on? I can't believe what I'm seeing. I've never seen this in PCM before. I'm not going to lie to you. I've tried so hard to get Schelling into today's breakaway after he, of course, won the polka dot jersey in real life yesterday. Outdoing me in PCM, I couldn't do it on stage one. I think we're going to let this breakaway go. Let him recover a little bit. Maybe go some KOMs later on. But it's going to be difficult right now. Let's just focus on probably the Murder of Britannia later on. And guys, let me know who your pick is for this stage in real life. Personally, I'm going to go for Primoz Roglic. I really think he can win this stage on that two kilometre final climb. So we have 50k to go in the stage, just under now actually, and only three riders left up front. They have no chance at challenging for the stage, but we do have an intermediate sprint coming up. And you know that means Peter Sagan is going to be challenging for this one, led out by Daniel Oss, trying to put him in the best position possible right now. We'll try and sprint with Oss as well. But here comes Peter Sagan, and he is going to take the first points from the peloton. Pretty nicely done there, if I don't say so myself. So guys, the breakaway have now been caught. I do see Casper Pedersen lurking to the front. I do think he's going to try and take this single point at this KOM. I do want it with Ida Schelling though, so we will try a big move right now with Ida to see if we can take this KOM. I think it will be Matthew Vanderpool. No, Ida Schelling out attacks Matthew Vanderpool there for a single point. We're now tied at the top with another KOM coming up pretty shortly. And these guys are straight away on the move again. So Casper Pedersen launches on the way into the Mur de Bretagne. Let's go up to 85 with Ida Schelling. I just want to hang around to the front because this is a third category climb right here. The rest of our guys just trying to stay in position. Can Ida Schelling move into the polka dot jersey right now? But the Koenig and Casper Askreen setting an infernal rhythm right here. Come on, Ida. Come to the front if you can. Still 1k to go to the top. And I'm afraid to say, guys, I think it's going to be too difficult here for Ida Schelling on this poor day for the man. Come on, Ida. Come and take some points. We're going to be third. I don't believe it. We're still not in that KOM jersey, but still, we do have another chance. Only 2k up the road right here. Hopefully, the rest of my guys are staying in position here. But I think we can maintain position right now with then. Here comes Ida Schelling going for this KOM. And it's going to be Matthew Vanderpool right now taking that KOM point. We just cannot get that KOM. Anyway, Kelderman and Comrades, I got far too caught up in that KOM battle right there. I caught way too far back in this descent and you can see Chris Froome is further up the road than us right now. And that says it all and Vanderpool is up the road. So it's gonna be a very, very quick rhythm as well, but they're just up the road, we should be okay. 
Wout Van Aert, another rider caught behind, but Nils Pollitt has done God's work right there, bringing Wilco right to the front, and we're ready for the final ascent. Here we go then, guys. I'm not quite sure how I should be playing this climb. I want to keep Wilco in a good position, of course. Sagan as well could maybe challenge for this stage. There goes Miguel and Hal Lopez, maybe try and sit on his wheel here with Peter Sagan. Now we can maybe go up to 90. Wilco is struggling a lot, you know. He is really, really struggling right here as Peter Sagan tries to get in the wheel now of Julian Alaphilippe, he is the danger man. Wilco, try and resist, try and resist. Wilco's in real trouble here. He's going to lose a lot of time, I feel. Sagan cannot hold the wheel of Alaphilippe, not even get close. And this is going to be a really, really difficult day for us. We're going to sprint with all our riders that have anything left. And up the roads, it's going to be Julian Alaphilippe just about outlasting the Slovenian duo. Matthew van der Poel is second place on the day. Bookman, a strong performance by him. Sagan did well, some points in the green jersey right there. And luckily for us, Wilco Kelderman is strong enough to hang around with the bulk of the main GC contenders. Although we've probably lost a little time to the guys at the front. In the end then, that's a pretty successful stage for us, I guess. We don't lose any time with Wilco. I thought at one point we could lose a heap of time. But it looks like most of, or if not all of the GC contenders have stayed in the top 50 and not really lost any time. Pogac and Roglic gain a little time as well, but Julian Alaphilippe takes the stage win. Peter Sagan, what an effort by him today. He tried to stay to the front, but not quite enough to hold on to the yellow jersey. But maybe with a sprint stage coming up, a couple of sprint stages, we can get that back with some bonus seconds. So our yellow dream with Peter, not over just yet. Sagan instead moves into the green jersey whilst Ida Schelling just cannot quite get his hands on that polka dot jersey. We're gonna get it, I'm sure. Stage three of the Tour de France takes place from Lorient to Pontivy. It's gonna be the first clear sprint stage of the race as well, meaning Caleb Ewan is the favorite. But if you guys enjoyed today, make sure you smash that like button, drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.